Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another video. All right, y'all, back with some quick fight announcement news. Now, look, I know how these fight announcements can go as fast as they can be scheduled. They can be canceled just like that. But I just want to talk about this matchup here because I have some questions about JoJo as well, you know, and um, definitely about Alex Grasso going into this fight. Uh, but yeah, man, um, it's going down. Joanne JoJo Wood is scheduled to take on Alexa Grasso March 26th. They had to push out Alexa Grasso her return, you know, due to um, not having uh, any opponents except in that fight you know, for January 22nd. Because as y'all know, Viviana Arujo, she pulled out of her fight in two weeks against Grasso due to an injury. Um, they still didn't disclose uh, what injury uh, she suffered, but um, yeah, had to take her off the card. Tried to find an opponent for Grasso. You know, they were trying to find a, a quick replacement for her, but you know, they didn't really have anybody um, up in the top five or top 10 that could accept the fight right away. You know, that was a reasonable opponent for her. Because even like Andrea Lee, some people said that she probably didn't want to fight down and that was probably the case, right? She probably didn't want to fight down. And then you had some other fighters that um, are already already taken, right? So the more logical fight, I think when it came down to it, would be JoJo Wood. Because uh, JoJo Wood, she'll, you know, she'll pretty much fight anybody. And she probably said, look, I can't, I can't take the fight right now in January. But if you maybe push it back, I'll take it. You know, so Grasso, she probably settled on that. And they probably just said, okay, you know, we'll schedule your return a little bit later out. Because like I said, JoJo... Uh, She'll accept the fight with anybody, but she's coming off a hard loss to Taylor Santos. You know, first round, first round submission. You know, she suffered a pretty hard beating in that first round. So, you know, um, she probably needed a few months just to get ready and prepare. Uh, but yeah, uh, like I said, I like this fight. You know, this was originally scheduled for these two to, it was originally scheduled for these two to fight back in like, I think, um, like towards the end of 2021, right? Uh, but Grasso had to pull out during the first uh, scheduling. And Taylor Santos stepped in. And, you know, that's how JoJo, she suffered that hard loss when Taylor Santos stepped in and, you know, accepted that fight. So this fight here, you know, I, like I said, I just wanted to come back and talk, talk about it a little bit because I actually like this matchup. I actually preferred it a little bit better, a little bit more because I just like the style matchup, you know, Muay Thai fighter versus boxer. And I thought this was a good good fight for uh, for JoJo to kind of, you know, just get get her confidence back and just, just get a style that could help her look good and kind of build her confidence up. Now, you know, Alexa Grasso, I think she's better technically, but I still think that JoJo had a good chance because she could have been fighting somebody that would have gave her more space and, you know, give her that range to fight a little bit more her style, that comfortable style. Now, I know that doesn't sound fair trying to give her an easy matchup, but I just think that, you know, at this point, those are the type of fights that JoJo is going to be fighting, you know, because first off, one through five or one through four, in the flyweight division they've already got wins over jojo you know she's got some hard losses in there as well close close controversial losses but she's got she's lost everybody there you know it's so on her record as an l now right so you know i just say okay well jojo needs to be fighting these type of fighters now at this point because i don't think she is going to be in that title talks anytime soon right and when you just look at the rankings like, like i'm looking at it right now um with jojo her her position in that number what seven and with Alexa Grasso at number 11, Grasso wants to fight up because she already defeated Jin Yoon Kim and Macy Barber. It's logical for her to fight up and not down. And for JoJo, who's, like I said, lost to, you know, the top uh, fly, flyweights like Murphy, uh, Murphy, Chikagan, Andrade, and Maya, at this point, it's time for her to fight down, right? So let's have a meet in the middle. That's how it usually works, right? That's how Casey O'Neill and Roxanne Matafari, there's their situation is as well you know uh roxy's been losing to the top fighters in the top 10 you know so she has to fight down casey o'neill's been winning she fights up so you meet you meet each other in the middle that's how it's supposed to work right so yeah um i like this matchup like i said i think this is going to be a good uh good stand-up fight here i, I want to see if jojo can you know make those right adjustments as far as you know moving her head in this fight you know just starting to you know, do those little things that she needs to do to kind of improve her style and make her more dominant, you know, because, um, you know, I know some people feel like she's uh, not really felt falling off, but I have to say that she has, you know, as a fan, I, I have to say that I can see the wear and tear in her, you know, physically, I can kind of see her style and the energy in her a little bit off, you know what I mean? Because like early in her career, I always thought she had that killer instinct. She had the style early to defeat a lot of fighters. Like she had great takedown defense early. She was physically strong. She could hit hard. Um, but as she started kind of progressing, you know, through organizations, 
um, she wasn't moving her head enough. She was taking a lot of shots. She was trying to, you know, go into firefights. And, you know, that take, that, that, that'll that tear a fighter, fighter down. That's what I mean by, um, you know, kind of showing the wear and tear. Like, you can't see it physically. Like, you won't see it on the person's face, but you can just see it in their demeanor and their body language. And you, you do have to add in the fact that when a fighter takes punishment on the inside, you can already... You can already get a, a knack for it if you've been following that fighter for a while. Like I said, age, yeah, that's, you know, that, that'll that definitely come into play. But the amount of punishment you take is going to age you even that that's going to make advance your age even uh, faster. You know what I mean? So for somebody like Jojo, like I said, in that mid part of her career um, where she wasn't making the right adjustments as far as, you know, taking less punt, you know, taking less shots um, started to wear wear on her. You know, yeah, she's at a better weight, more comfortable weight, but, you know, so are these other ladies, you know, so are these ladies like Chikagan and, and, um, and Maya, you know, and um, I think that's where she just kind of like kind of stalled out a little bit. You know, she didn't really improve on her ground game and improve on her strength and her style, you know, the way Ioana did, you know, Ioana's takedown defense is like some of the best. She's got the best takedown defense in WMMA, in my opinion. I, I think Ioana's always found that, um, She's always found that 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 plan B to keep the style that she wanted going, like her stand up. You know what I mean? Versus Joanne, you know, she wants to use her stand up, but sometimes it's not as effective because she doesn't have that that perfect takedown defense and you know that strength like Joanna did, right? So um, yeah, I think this will be a good fight for Alexa Gra uh, for uh, JoJo just to kind of get back in there and fight her fight um, for Grasso. I think Grasso is the better technically sound fighter when it comes to her skills and commitment. You know, I think she just lacks that that dog and that killer instinct like JoJo has. So I think that's where we kind of see balance. And you also got to remember, if this fight's taking place in March, in March, March 26th, JoJo, Grasso, not JoJo, but Grasso have been out over a year. Yeah, Grasso's going to be, be out for over a year now, you know, after her win over Jinyu Kim and... um Macy Barber back in February of 2021, and she's coming back in March. She's been out over a year and some change now. So we got to factor that in. You know, I know Grasso's been staying sharp and working and training, but, you know, fights, you know, training is one thing, fights are other, you know. So with JoJo has that activity going for her, you know, Grasso, yeah, she's been out for over a year. So we got to factor that in, you know, there, there might be a little rust there. But I think that she still has the technique to make this fight interesting. You know, she has those um, sharp combinations. You know, she's very good at that. Um, in and out style, you know, using angles. She has a good sharp right hand. I just don't think she commits to her jab enough, you know, so that might be a problem. You know, whenever you go in there with a tall, long fighter, you got to establish some type of jab to get on the inside, where I think that JoJo, she lets her combinations go second nature now. That's the one thing I got to say about JoJo. Her combinations have improved. She, that front kick she throws up, it flies, it flails out like a jab and kicks you right in the face. So you got to be careful of that. Um, her jab is better. Her getting better her right hand is good you know um her body shots are good on the inside it's just the fact that she doesn't have those other dimensions that she needs to get her those wins because those strong fighters they can nullify that as soon as they take her to the ground and get her on her back right so you might see alexa grasso pull off some things like that in this fight you might you might see her go in there and you know go to that plan b and take it down to the ground if she's starting to get outstruck right so yeah um I like this matchup. Like I said, keep your fingers crossed. It's going down March 26th. JoJo Wood versus Alexa Grasso, guys. Let me know what y'all think of this fight. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.